So as you can probably tell by the title of this video, I'm going to attempt to make a rod tube to uh, store all my bass fishing rods when I go to kayak tournaments and things like that. Um, I do kayak tournaments up here in Maine through any bassin. I do about five to seven of them a year. And then I also fish out of this thing quite a bit on the weekends and stuff. I've got five rods that I bring with me. And I'd like to be able to put them inside of a tube or something in the back of my truck when I'm transporting my kayak. Um, just so they don't... Usually I stick them either inside, like under the seat here, and kind of lay them up this way. And I don't really think that's that great for them because they're kind of resting on the front of the kayak. If I park somewhere and left my truck for me, they could just pull the rods out and run off of them. But uh, another way I've done it was put them all in these rod tubes standing up straight and hook the little latches over but of course then you got a seven and a half foot rod sticking up so the biggest rod that I have should be this one right here it's a seven foot six so I want to make my rod tube I think I'm gonna just make it an uh, eight feet or about eight feet so this is what I got for supplies so far I went to about five different stores trying to find a pipe over four inches in diameter and no one had it and my parents went to a plumbing store a while ago and they found this and picked it up for me so this is just a six inch pipe it's in a 10 foot section so i'm gonna have to cut it but it's a uh, schedule 20 so it's got that thinner diameter it's not as heavy it's pretty lightweight actually um if you get the schedule 40 that's about the normal pvc thickness um, i got an end cap with a screw that's really made for the um schedule 40 so it's it's actually bigger than this, so I'm going to have to, uh, so I've got this adapter here that this will kind of fit on, and I'll try to make that work. It's going to be a little messed up, but we'll make it work. Then I got some bed liner. I might try to bed line the outside of it and a lock. And then I got this uh, piece here that I'm going to try to make a little mount just to hook it to my truck. And then on the other end, I just got a, just a regular old end cap that's pushed on there, so... Um, I'm going to cut this at 8 feet right now and then uh, work on hooking this end cap up. So we'll do that. Alright guys, so here's the problem. This is made for the, I believe the Schedule 40 pipe. And uh, so it's a little bit bigger, and it doesn't fit tight at all. Um, it sort of fits almost, almost onto this. It'll probably get it on there if I do a little bit of grinding and trimming and pound it down on there, because this fits. This is made for this type of pipe, and it fits right on there, nice and snug. Kind of hard with one hand, but. We'll go see if we can make that fit. All right, so what I'm going to attempt to do is just kind of grind out the inside of this a little bit just to get that piece started. I'm just going to try to pound it down in there with a hammer. Oh, yeah. I'm going to grind it a little bit more and then put some glue on that thing and just pound it down in there. Pretty good. So another thing I'm going to do with this end cap, um, I got a piece of foam here. I'm just going to cut that out um, and then glue it in the bottom of this so my rods don't bang around uh, on the tip and hit that at all and break or anything. So perfect. All right, guys. So the other thing I'm going to do on this cap here. I'm going to drill a hole right through this, run this threaded rod through here that I had down in my basement, and uh, that's just going to give me something to hold on to, to untwist it in case sometimes these things get a little tight, and I don't want my rods getting locked in there on tournament day. So like that, and now I can grab onto this and twist it to unlock it. Also going to paint this orange. It's going to stick out a little bit on the end of my truck, so I want people to see it. Come on. Come on. There we go. There we go. 
All right, guys, so I want to get a coat of paint on this uh, before the sun starts going down. So I got my golf flag set up out here. I'm going to do this. Just a uh, rust oleum bed liner. That almost took a whole can, guys. It's got a little bit left. Stuff comes out like a rocket, though. All right, guys, so I've put two coats on that. I let it dry, it's all dried. Um, I'm gonna pull it up, just paint the end of that where it's in the grass a little bit, and then uh, bring it in the garage. All right, bring it in the garage. I just put this through here to uh, keep the cat from unscrewing when I'm driving down the road. I don't want it to vibrate out or anything, so just a little bit of added security. Just drilled a hole right through the corner of that. Pop that up. I got four rods in there right now. Uh, two with the reels facing back and two with the reels facing forward. And you can see it fits a spinning rod in there as well. I can fit another one or two rods in there. This way I have it locked in right here. Um, no one can steal it. So what I've done to hook it up in here is I just used some uh, you know, ratchet straps and I just cut them. So they're basically gonna be only used for this now because I cut this strap really short, just enough to reach around there and crank down a couple times. And my bed's got these hooks on them uh, down there and, and right here. Um, just like this, Toyota makes these little hooks like that. So I run my line through there, crank it down, and that's pretty solid. It's not gonna go anywhere. Um, and then I got this uh, six foot bike cable. It's just a, uh, a cable, rubberized, rubberized coating over a cable some loops and I just run it through the same lock that my um, door goes on that way I don't have to use you know another lock down there somewhere to lock this thing in it's all tied in with the same lock so no one can steal it out um, you know they probably could steal it if they wanted to spend a little bit of time messing with it but that should prevent anything from happening to it and that'll also if those straps you know give way or whatever a little added security right there so that's what it is guys. So thanks for watching guys. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Yeah, thanks for watching guys. I'll see you next time.